guys, welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make my prawn and chorizo jambalaya. It's a really delicious recipe, it's so fresh and oh, it's just delicious. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. Okay, so you're going to need about 300 grams of long grain rice. You can also use medium or short grain, but I prefer long. One large red capsicum sliced. Just to make sure to get rid of all the seeds, um, you usually just cut out the core, pop it out, and then slice it up. One large brown onion diced finely. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. One tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. One large or two small cloves of garlic crushed. Then you've got one teaspoon of smoked paprika and half a teaspoon of sweet paprika. About 300 grams of cooked prawns. Now I get these from a place called Kalis Bros. They've already come peeled and deveined. 150 grams of chorizo sausage sliced. Now this is the regular size of the sausage, so that's about 150 grams. 400 grams of crushed tomatoes, a tablespoon of oil for frying, a minimum of 500 mils of chicken stock. You may need up to seven or 800 mils depending on how absorbent your rice is. And of course, salt and pepper to taste. Let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do first is take about a tablespoon of oil and fry our onions until they're nice and brown. This should take about four to five minutes. So while our onions are browning, what we're going to do is heat up our stock. We want it to be at a gentle boil. While they're browning, just place a pinch of salt on your onions. This just helps bring out any moisture in the onions and helps them brown quicker. So when the onions are nice and brown, we're going to add our chorizo. We're going to cook this beforehand because it'll release some more oil that'll help cook our rice. Okay, once your chorizo has been cooking for about two to three minutes, we're going to add our garlic for about 30 seconds and then add our rice. Keep stirring around until you really smell the garlic. Smell the garlic, do you, Flavia? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. Alrighty. Take All up. ricey. All ricey. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to add our rice and let it cook for about a minute in the oil. Zoo. Okay, so after a minute of cooking the rice, we're going to add our spice. Want to add the spicy to the ricey. Isn't it beautiful? Now the Cajun spice does give it a bit of a kick, so if you're not that big on spice, maybe just do half a tablespoon and add more paprika, but give it a go. Then just let this cook again for another 30 seconds to a minute until you can really smell the spices. Then after about a minute of letting that cook, we're going to add our crushed tomatoes. Then we're going to add our two tablespoons of tomato paste. Excuse the fingers, it's okay, I washed them. Okay, and now we're going to add in one third of our stock and stir it around for about two to three minutes. Now, the reason we add hot stock here is so that the rice absorbs it faster but also so it doesn't shock the rice. I know that sounds funny, but it can actually make the rice stay a bit crispier. But we want it to be nice and warm and gooey and yummy. After two to three minutes, now add another third of the stock. The reason we add it in thirds, it allows the rice to absorb the liquid without being overwhelmed with all of the stock at once, because the rice will basically feel like it's drowning. You don't want that. You want it to like dip its feet in the pool first. Oh, just and then go swimming. And then go swimming. 
Jambalaya 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 So after another two to three minutes we're going to add the rest of our stock and then we're going to add our capsicum Okay, so once you've added your capsicum and stirred it around a bit, we're going to put, um, put it down to a medium-low heat. Done. Um, and then put a lid on top and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. So after about 10 minutes, the rice has softened. There's still a little bit of a crunch to it. At this point, you may need to add some more stock. Um, mine's okay because it's still bubbling away, but um, so we started with 500 mils. You might want to add another 100 or 200 mils. Just going to add our prawns. I'm just going to stir them around. Make sure they're all immersed into the jambalaya, and then let it cook for another five or so minutes. Just a little bit. Wow. You can serve as is, or just top it with some fresh parsley. Okay guys, so that's how you make my jambalaya. This serves about four people, five if you're not that hungry, four if you're hungry. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited because Flavia hasn't had this before, and so, let's eat. <laughs> it smells amazing. Okay. You can, this one's for you. Yeah. <laughs> that was but yes, okay, so you have to get a bit of chorizo, a bit of prawn, capsicum, the whole thing. Alright. Alright, the whole thing. The whole thing. Are the tails on? The tails are on, so you spin it out. Okay. Oh, I dropped my chorizo. Here it is. Mmm. Just eye tail. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that is his, this is ours. Yeah. Yes. That will feed one whole Jake. <laughs> one whole Jake. <laughs> yes. That is really delicious. Mm. And I remember I wanted to try this for so long because I first saw it when you posted it on Facebook in like 2012. Mm. And we weren't really fret, like proper friends yet. And I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I need to eat this. And I'm finally eating it. And now you're finally eating it. Finally eating it after like. Six years. And your life is now complete. It is. You complete. can die now. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can die now. <laughs> you can die happy. Die happy. Cool. Yay. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so. See you next time. Bye. Bye.